name is Nina Camplin and I'm the online arts facilitator for the VC Gallery. Welcome to another of our live watch parties that we are currently using to replace our Wednesday workshops. Uh, this week and next week we are looking at uh, celebrating Remembrance Day. Um, so we're doing some pieces of art to um, just to honour the um, the soldiers that died in in all the wars. So today what I'm going to do is um, this was actually a piece I did in the gallery in Pembroke Dock a few years back when we first opened. It was the first Remembrance um, exhibition that we had there, and it was a wall mural that I did. I've got my I've got my purple poppy on. Um, because I'm honouring the, the animals that have died in the wars. So um, I wanted to do this because it's um, a soldier and his dog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do him with a sunset behind him. So I've done, I've got a piece of uh, paper here and I've put down a yellow base. All I'm going to use for this one is three colours, uh, yellow, red, and this is a deep violet, and a white. And to start with, I'm going to put the background down. So I have already put a, a yellow coat down on this. Um, so I need to start off. It's, um, when I do um, graduating colours or graduating one into another, it's always best to go from the light, uh, the lightest into the darker because the lightest ones get contaminated very quickly. So this this is dry. This base now. So if I put the sun in out here. That's just as a white. And then if I start going into the yellow, taking it out. And the other thing I try and always do is I use a different a different brush for each colour. So I've got the white here and I'm going to blend that into the yellow. And then the yellow, I'm going to keep taking the yellow out. I need the yellow to be wet to blend it into the red. I always find when you do blending, it's, it's better to take the lighter colour out a lot further than you want it. Because once you start blending, the darker colour will take, take over quite a lot. So I'm going to use a new brush for the red. Just come out from the edges. Right, so now I'm going to go back to the brush I was using for the yellow and take some yellow and start to blend it into the red. You can see the more I'm doing this, the more the, the yellow brush is picking up red and bringing it into the yellow area. I've just cleaned my brush and then added yellow again. So I'm trying to take the yellow back out again. And then I want this to go into really dark at the edges. So I'm going to get another clean brush. This is where I'm going to add the violet. And I'm going to do the same as I did with the yellow brush. I'm going to go back to the red and I'm going to start trying to blend this in. to add this distant land in. I'm actually using the brush that's got the violet on so it's a bit darker. And I'm just going to put more yellow in, in the middle here so it looks like it's bringing a bit of the light from the sun in. On the ground I'm going to bring the white in. I've got some a sunset with a distant land and ideally I'd like this to dry. So instead of boring you all by holding a hairdryer onto it, I'm going to, in true blue pizza fashion, go to one that's already dry. Here's one I did earlier. Okay, it's slightly different shading. Now this is the, um, the silhouette that I want to use. And what I've done is I've just traced myself out a guideline for it. Okay, so you can do this using carbon paper or you can... Um, pencil over the back of the paper and then just draw around what you've got there. 
and take that off. And if you want to, I mean, there's lots of pictures that you can get of soldiers in, um, if you Google them, so silhouettes, and you can download your own version that you want to use. And I'm going to just use the purple for this. I've got silhouette in. So the final part of this is to add in the shadows. Um, so they're being cast from the sun, which is the middle. So everything's going to come through from a kind of one point perspective. So we're going to come out from the middle, just using the, the violet again. Slightly different to the one they've got up here because the light's behind the dog in this one. So the shadows are going to be slightly different. Add a little bit of water. Next week we're going to be doing poppies and um, I hope you will all have a go at doing something for remembrance and if you, if you get a chance go and have a look at the exhibition over in Bridge Street as well and I'll see you all next week. Bye!